Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. I think it's time I give you a little update on my Hillstream Aquarium that I set up about two weeks ago now. The tank is now fully cycled and I checked the water quality and everything looks good. And there's also a little bit of algae starting to grow on the rocks which is going to be really good for the fish I'm going to be adding into this tank. And just before I show you the fish I'm going to be adding to my Hillstream tank, if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out a lot. The first fish I'm going to be adding to my Hillstream Aquarium are some Stephanon Atropoporus. I got these goldies from Made in Aquatics in Wigan. They're a little bit stressed right now so that's why there's not a lot of colour on them. I was hoping to get both male and females but I was only able to get males this time around. It's ideal to have them in pairs but groups of males can live together sometimes. Just like bears each one is different. Some may be a bit more aggressive, some might be more peaceful so you just gotta keep an eye on them. So I'll be checking to make sure there isn't too much aggression and if there is I can move some to my other planted tank. With all the fish I buy I always drip acclimate them. I know that these fish are in water that's a little bit softer compared to mine, so I'm going to drip acclimate these for about 3-4 to four hours. I found that when I do a longer acclimation the better the fish will settle down into the new aquarium. If you want to see how I drip acclimate my fish and shrimp I'll leave a little card in the top corner of the video if you want to have a look. So here's the gobies after about 4 hours of drip acclimation. The amount of water now is triple the amount that I started with, and I took a little bit of the water out to make it a little bit more easy for me when I'm catching them with a net. Now I'm just going to carefully net them out the bucket and put them into the new tank. So it's time to add the first Stiffenon gobies into my Hillstream tank. So I just wanted to show you some footage of them as soon as I added them to the tank. You can see that the colours are a little bit washed out but they have this nice little metallic sheen on them as well. The Stiffenon gobies you usually find in fish shops are quite young and not fully matured yet. I think the ones I have are probably about 6 months old. From what I've been reading it takes about a year for them to reach full maturity. When they're fully matured and settled down their colours change dramatically. The male goby's body becomes black in colour and they also develop a bright blue iridescent band on their body as well and that's why in your local fish shop they'll be often called neon blue gobies. Females still put on natural propose don't develop these bright colours. Instead they have a pale body with two horizontal black bars on them. I think they look really nice but it's just really hard to find them in shops. Hopefully I'll be able to get some somewhere. Here's some new footage of the Stiffidon Atropoporus about 2 months after I added them to the tank. They are starting to get a little bit more mature now now that they're older. They are starting to develop a darker colour as well which is nice to see. Eventually as they get older and more mature they will start to develop the nice blue iridescent markings on them. I haven't seen any major aggression from them yet. There's also been no fin nipping which is great as well. In a few months time when these fish get a little bit more mature I'll give you an update on them to see if they develop that nice colour. If you guys want me to make a care guide about how to keep these gobies leave a comment below and I'll get started on that video. And to end this video I'm just going to leave you with a little bit more footage of these gobies grazing on some algae. 